Well, it's actually afternoon. Hi, Mo oh, this is a really great angle. Hi, muchachos. Hi, muchachos, Mamani. Good afternoon. I mean, good afternoon. Mm. So, um, I already eat pizza, though, so my face is dirty. It is dirty. Mm. Ow. Told you it's dirty. Look at that. All that sauce on your face, girl. Ew. Go on your face, <laughs> Cochina. Oh, oh my gosh, yummy. Good morning, which this is a better angle. Um, it is, wait, I said good morning. Good afternoon. It's currently 1.11, and if you wanna hold the camera, okay. And my vlog is exporting um, from yesterday, and so as soon as that's done exporting, I will Such upload. Such a cat toast. Um, 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 mommy and me is going to, um, that Bobby's not ready tomorrow, and the Deutsche got turn face tomorrow, and um, off a family, but my puppy's not coming to test um, um, our source, poop, um, puppy's test him. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So, so it's gonna be me, you, and Poppy going tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, Alondra changed her mind. She wants to go to the Crayola tomorrow because she wants Edom to come because she wants it to be with her family. Huh? You're so cute. And uh, mommy and me um, um, does do something and did this all way watch um, the oil the oil eat something that does eat. So I eat a waffle and I have a waffle one waffle but I didn't finish it. And um, a, and mommy and me have, like I have one pizza roll and I have two eggs to share. Yeah, you had lots of pizza rolls, huh? Yep. Yeah. And my face got dirty. Yeah, it is still dirty. You need to go wash your face. And um, and um, we're watching this. So this is for watching with the mouth. Bye! I'll take the tattoos. Bye. Um, I see you on my next video. Bye. Vlog is live. Check. And now I need to work on these dishes. Remember these dishes from last night? Yeah, your girl needs to do them. I did like a few. Let's see here. I did empty the dishwasher because the dishwasher was completely full. And like, look. See, I did four, six. Okay, I did ten dishes. So... This was like obviously a lot worse, but um, yeah, I need to go ahead. I want to clean this because Edom should be on his way home soon, and I just want like the kitchen to look nice and clean for him. Okay, real talk, I've been washing dishes for 14 minutes and I still have just these items left, but I'm over it. I'm already over it. My hands are pruny. I'm just, yeah, I'm not feeling like it. So anyways, a part of me just honestly just wants to leave this and not even finish it, but um, I'm just gonna finish it. How long does it take you guys to do dishes? I feel like dishes should not take longer than five or 10 minutes. Anything over that, I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I hate doing dishes, by the way. And it's funny too, because I usually don't, like if there's like a full sink of dishes, I won't wash them all at once. I'll wash like 10, and then I'll come back later and I'll do like 10 more, because I, I'm, I'm like cranky. I'm cranky for doing dishes, isn't that crazy? All right, guys, let me just finish this crap up. And voila, dishes are done, kitchen is clean, got them all right there, wiped down the counters. We're good. 
Whew, I had to take off my jacket too because I was like sweating. Oh my gosh. All right. Anyways, now I'm trying to think what else do I need to do? I actually, I need to check on Alondra because I told her to clean her room. If you guys remembered her room from last night. And yeah. <laughs> Not making that much progress, are we, sweetheart? Well, I guess a little bit of progress because she has some toys in there. But um, yeah, this is... Uh... Oh, you're tired? You're tired. Well, you weren't too tired to make this mess, huh? Oh my goodness, girl. All right, finish cleaning it up, okay? Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm trying to step back and have her clean her room because I always tell her, let's clean your room. And then it'll always be like me or Edom cleaning her own room and her just like sitting there watching us. So I really want her to start cleaning her own room. So I'm gonna leave her to it. And I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. It's 321, so Edom should be out of work. He had to work till three today because he had like a mandatory meeting but my phone died, so let's see if I have a little bit of charge. I do, I don't need to text. Okay, cool, so he's uh, done with the meeting, so he should be on the way. So all right, I'm gonna get out of pajamas, you know? That way I don't look like a complete slob, and I don't know, just wait for my man to get home. I'm excited, muchachos, my honey love is home. Yeah, Poppy brought you a cookie and he brought mommy some pot belly. I love you too, baby. Thank you. So he had a meeting at work and they catered pot belly, which pot belly is delicious. I had this when I lived in Minnesota. Oh, you're so sweet. Gorda. Did you hear her, baby? Poppy's the best poppy in the whole wide world. Oh, I love you. So anyways, you guys, these sandwiches are so good and the cookies are to die for and chips Ooh, there's macaroni salad i am just so excited it's the macaroni salad and then mommy got some chips oh my god i'm so excited they used to cater this all the time when i worked in minnesota and i loved it and you know i'm actually never had it so oh oh my gosh i am going to grub i'm so happy it has been uh several hours later muchachos it is now 7 31 to be exact but Adam and I have just been snuggling, watching Ozark. It is getting so good. We're still on season one, but what episode are we on? Like six, seven? Four. We watched four. We watched two episodes, so four or five, but we're not That's it? Oh, I feel like we've watched so much Ozark, but I guess we, three yesterday we haven't. Yeah, three yesterday and then two today. Yeah, so we're going on an Ozark marathon. We decided we're gonna stay up late tonight because Edom's not working. My battery's dying. Um, we're gonna stay up late and watch. I know, I'm so excited. We're gonna watch us have this little Ozark marathon, which I am excited about, I must say. But anyways, I don't know because mommy's just, I don't know. So we're getting ready to have some dinner. We're gonna have quesadillas. Yep, you want to try to try some carne asada? Yum. So yeah, Alondra's having a quesadilla and then um, the leftovers like the french fries and the carne, we're just basically Mom, making them um, Cali burritos, I guess you could say. Oh, you're giving me your carne? Okay, you can put it on. Thank you. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat because clearly my camera is about to die. Um, and yeah. It is 8.41. Alondra's asleep. I just got out of the shower and Edom just took Wiggles potty. And now it is time for us to drink our pomegranate juice. We have been drinking this every day. Um, and this is our second bottle too. And this is not gonna last me until ovulation day. So I should have honestly bought more of this when it was on sale. So it's gonna suck paying full price, I guess, for it. But I don't know, I, I tried doing the math I clearly failed at the mouth. This is 60 ounces and we have to, we each drink eight ounces a day. By the way, if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, this is pomegranate juice and it is supposed to help you when you are TTC or trying to conceive. So I've gotten actually questions about this. Like for females, it helps your uterus. So it helps thicken it and stuff like that. And then it does a bunch of other stuff too. But, <clears throat> and then for guys, it does other stuff too for them. But the main one, is it helps the sperm's mobility their what was it for the sperm something like about their mobility and i don't know it, it just helps them you know 
it helps them be strong I don't know that's what they say it's not scientific it is just um, what people say so I don't know I mean if it's a hundred percent works or not but we're gonna give it a go why not it's not the most awful tasting thing Iran loves the taste of it and I think it's it's all right it's not something I would drink just to drink but anyway so you basically take this starting from the first day of your period you're gonna go ahead and drink that yeah, one okay so um cheers love cheers cheers to your sperm <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> okay, I almost so, spit that out. Sorry, I don't want you to spit that out. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> sorry, baby. And um, cheers to my uterus. So, you take it from cycle day one, so the first day of your period, all the way into ovulation. Um, so yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. And then once I do that, like look at this already. Well, let me put the cap back on. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to Costco for sure and get more of this. But um, and then I'm actually gonna also do the pineapple core. Look at that, it's like already gone. But I don't know. Then we're gonna do the. I'm, well, I'm gonna do the pineapple core where I eat the pineapple core from the first day that I like ovulate, like the peak. I think and you do it for five days. So that day and then four more days. So and that is supposed to help like baby stick um there's something i don't know what the scientific term is but that's basically what it is but like i said this is all just um it's not i don't think it's anything that's ever been proven like this will definitely get you pregnant so my battery died so that is basically what we're doing with the pomegranate juice and then i will start eating the pineapple so i don't know we'll see no i eat the pineapple when i ovulate Oh, I didn't think of that. Very smart. Okay, then I need to buy a pineapple. I'll probably buy one tomorrow. And probably buy some more pomegranate juice tomorrow, too. But, anyways, yeah, if you guys have ever tried the pomegranate juice or the pineapple, let me know because I'm just curious. I did watch one girl's video where she did it, both of those, and she got pregnant that cycle. However, she was taking Clomid too, but she took Clomid like her first month. Like she did Clomid like the first like round, she didn't get pregnant. So then the second round, she still, she took the Clomid again and she the pomegranate juice and the pineapple and got pregnant. So I mean, I guess it's, I mean, I don't know, but I'm sure there's some people that do do the pomegranate juice and the pineapple and they, I'm sure they don't get pregnant, so. I don't know. I just figure it doesn't hurt to try. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? And they say pomegranate juice is really good for you. Oh, I know. That's nice, right? You know what I'm saying? He loves it. He doesn't have to set his alarm. So. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. That's just a little bit of TTC things that we are trying this month. Also, too, I know that I've gotten comments and, like, direct messages about, like, fertility supplements that you guys have tried. Also, maca or maca root. Maca, maca. So I have been looking into all of that stuff as well. And I do appreciate you guys, like, telling me things that you've done or tried, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. I don't want you guys to think that, like, I'm ignoring that. and Because uh, I'm not at all. I'm just looking into, like, all the, the options. You know what I mean? So, anyways. Um, oh, also, too, real quickly before I go. Because I'm getting ready to say goodnight to you guys. Um, I didn't talk about it on any of the vlogs, I don't think, but I know I talked about them in my plan with me's. So see why you should watch my plan with me's? I talk about different stuff sometimes. <laughs> Shameless plug. But anyways, my grandpa, um, had surgery today, so I know I've gotten some comments and messages from you guys saying like, you know, I hope your grandpa is like doing well and etc. And I just want to let you guys know that number one, I appreciate that more than anything because I am a grandpa's girl. My grandpa was like a father to me growing up. I I love that man so much. I'm not going to get emotional because he's fine. Um, the surgery went well. Uh, he is staying overnight in the hospital just to be observed, I think. Is that the right word? Um, observation, yeah. So if everything checks out good, then he'll be able to, to be discharged. So I really, really, really hope he gets discharged tomorrow because obviously that means good news. It was just scary for me because my grandfather is getting older. I don't know if he's 87 or 88. I think he's 88 this year, January turned 88. So it's just scary. I mean, it's just scary. Like his health 
it's not good um and just you know what i mean i mean i don't know it's, i was just nervous obviously it's it's a scary situation so but i mean he's doing good and i'm happy and he's recovering so i will definitely keep you guys updated but i just want to tell you guys that it did mean a lot to me there was some of you guys that watched my plan with me that did reach out and stuff so thank you and that's just the update on my grandpa so it's doing good um but anyways that is all i have for this video i feel like i didn't really vlog a lot today but i mean honey love came home and we watched ozark and it was honestly just so nice to just cuddle and just watch tv together i feel like edam and i haven't had a lot of time together recently because he's been really busy with work and stuff so um i was taking full advantage of that so anyways we're actually gonna call right now and watch some more ozark if he doesn't fall asleep on me so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here so i hope you guys did enjoy the vlog anyways please give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel please subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow guess where we're going guys crayola so what's new i feel like we go every wednesday but anyways all right you guys i will see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching bye muchachos are you asleep oh my god i knew it he's gonna fall asleep guess we're not watching ozark